Oh, welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today is International Sandwich Sunday and we are headed back to Brazil for the carne loca. Now this is going to take me two days to make because the stuff has to marinate in the fridge overnight, but don't worry, you'll see it all in one video because I'm not a monster. All right, let's get to the marinade. All right, to make our uh, marinade, we start off with a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, a quarter cup of neutral oil, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of grainy mustard. Get that all worked together. Now we add in two pounds of chuck that's been cut into two inch cubes. Get the marinade covering every piece, then into the fridge overnight. All right, it's the next day and I drain the beef and now we've got to brown it. All right, our beef is uh, browned off, so now we add in diced onions, our reserved marinade, and I noticed that the ingredients list had Worcestershire sauce uh, listed, and I think it was supposed to be part of the marinade, so there we go. Then we cook this until soft. Okay, now we add in uh, diced tomatoes and garlic, and we cook that until the tomatoes are pretty much dry. Now we add in bell pepper and sliced onion, tomato paste, and oregano. We cook that for one to two minutes. Now we're going to add some beef bouillon paste, reserved beef and any juices that have accumulated. Then we pour in enough water to cover. Probably going to need a little bit more. Now we bring this to a simmer, cover it, and let it cook for one to two hours until the beef is falling apart. Okay, now to some cachaça, which is basically a cane spirit from Brazil. It kind of tastes uh, halfway between tequila and rum. Uh, we add in and whisk in some cornstarch. Now we add a little hot sauce. And now we stir that into our beef mixture. And stir until it's thickened a little. Now we stir in capers and green onions, and then we let this cool a little bit. Okay, now we just put that onto a French roll. Only French roll I could find are really small ones, but that's okay. These are supposed to be bites anyway. Okay, let's give this carne loca a go. Very bright flavors in here. Clearly a fair amount of onions, but they've all gone soft. The green peppers have gone soft, given up their flavors. Got the acidity from the tomatoes. The really nice, falling apart, uh, slow cooked beef. The cachaça that we put in there, you kind of taste a hint of it, but it's not a lot. It's not like you're drinking uh, cachaça. And it's just, it's so good. And that said, I do want to plus it up. And I hope I don't offend you, Brazil. I'm going to add some uh, crema mexicana. It's a uh, crema from Mexico. You probably have an equivalent in Brazil, but I don't have any Brazilian uh, grocery stores near me, so this is what I'm going with. Hopefully it does not offend you, but I think it's going to be a nice, creamy, cool addition to offset the tanginess of the beef. Okay, let's give this carne loca plus up with a little Mexican crema. A go. It's a little bit like sour cream, but not quite as, as strong as that. And it's playing really well off the capers, off the beef, the onions. All right, so the original uh, carne loca uh, was actually quite tasty. You got a little acidity from the tomatoes, uh, a little pickly pop from the uh, capers. The onions were, of course, melted into nothingness. Uh, the green pepper, same thing. It's just really soft. And then the beef got really, like, fork shreddable uh, and delicious. And all of that savoriness, all of that umami came through uh, with the tomato and the tomato paste. So it was a tasty sandwich. I'm going to go ahead and give that a nine. Plus up with the Mexican crema, I'm going to say nine and a half. I think it brought a nice uh, contrast to the richness of the sandwich filling. Uh, and it was a nice little uh, creamy note. All right, I'm definitely going to finish that. I'm going to freeze a lot of that, but I'll still enjoy it because it is tasty. <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow.